Welcome to an example on how to use the TID4 to determine a probability using the normal distribution. A class has given an exam. The distribution of the scores is normal. The mean score is 76 and the standard deviation is 7. What is the probability that a student scored greater than 80? We can express this as the probability that X, the test score, is greater than 80. So we know the mean or mu is equal to 76 and the standard deviation or sigma is equal to 7. Let's first model this situation using the normal distribution curve where the mean of 76 would be here in the middle and the horizontal axis is scaled by standard deviations. So to the right of 76 we would have 76 plus 7 which is equal to 83, 83 plus 7 which is equal to 90, and 90 plus 7, which equals 97. To the left of 76, we'd have 76 minus 7, which is 69. 69 minus 7 is equal to 62. And 62 minus 7 is equal to 55. So notice how the test score of 80 would be between 76 and 83, a little closer to 83. So let's say 80 is approximately here. We want to determine the probability that the test score is to the right of 80, meaning the test score would be in this region here. Now that we understand the probability that we're looking for, we can use the normal CDF feature on the T84 to determine this probability. From the home screen, we press second VARS for the distribution menu. We want option two, normal CDF. Now if you don't see this screen, you have an older operating system, and I'll explain the difference in just a moment. We first need to enter the lower bound, and because we're looking for the probability that x is greater than 80, the lower bound is going to be 80, the value here on the left. To make sure we get all the data values to the right, we need to exaggerate a large positive upper value, or upper bound, which I've already entered as 99999. And we'll press enter. Mu is the mean of 76, so 76, enter. The standard deviation is 7, so sigma is 7. Enter. On pace, we press enter again. Now, if you do have an older operating system, you'll need to remember that when the normal CDF feature is on the home screen, you'll have to enter the lower bound, comma, upper bound, comma, the mean, comma, standard deviation, and then close parenthesis. Now, if we press enter, we'll have our probability. To four decimal places, this would be approximately 0 0.2839, because notice how the fifth decimal place is a five, which means you round up. If it was four or less, we would round down. So the probability again is approximately 0 0.2839. Now we are done with this question, but I also want to show how to solve this using z-scores. And if you were asked to solve this problem, using tables, you'd also have to use z-scores. So let's go ahead and find the z-score for the test score of 80. Remember the z-score is equal to the quantity x minus mu divided by sigma, where x is the test score, mu is the mean, and sigma is the standard deviation. So the z-score for the test score of 80 would be 80 minus the mean of 76 divided by the standard deviation of seven, well, 80 minus 76 is 4, so the z-score is 4 sevenths, which is a decimal would be approximately 0.5714, which means the probability that x is greater than 80 is equal to the probability that the z-score is greater than, we use the exact value of 4 sevenths. Before we go back to the calculator, let's also model this on the standard normal distribution. Remember, for the standard normal distribution, we have z-scores along the horizontal axis, where the z-score of zero would be here in the middle. To the right, we have one, two, three. To the left of zero, we have negative one, negative two, and negative three. So a z-score of four sevenths is going to be between zero and one, just a little bit closer to one, approximately here where again, this is the z-score of 4 sevenths. Notice how the location of the z-score of 4 sevenths on the horizontal axis 
is the same location as to where 80 is on the horizontal axis for the normal distribution. Because we're looking for the probability that z is greater than 4 sevenths, we want to determine the probability the z score is to the right of 4 sevenths, which would be in this region here. For the standard normal distribution, remember, the probability would be equal to the area under the curve over this interval, where the area under the entire curve would be equal to 1. So now going back to the calculator, we'll press second vars for distribution again, option 2 for normal CDF. And now our lower bound is going to be the z-score of 4 sevenths. Enter. The exaggeration for the upper bound should be fine, but now because we're using z-scores, we enter a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. And enter. Notice how we get the exact same probability as we did before. The probability is approximately 0 0.2839. Of course, when using the calculator, you wouldn't do this both ways, but if you were required to use a table rather than the T84, you would have to use the Z-score to determine this probability. I hope you found this helpful.